Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we will see solved example number 3 in multiplicative inverse using extended Euclidean algorithm. As usual, let's start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to Outcome number 1, we will know about the multiplicative inverse and outcome number 2, we will determine the multiplicative inverse of a given number under mod n using extended Euclidean algorithm. We know very well how we are going to find the multiplicative inverse. Here we are going to apply the extended Euclidean algorithm. The algorithm goes like this. We have seven columns Q, A, B, R. These are the four columns we have in the Euclid's algorithm. And we are going to have three more columns T1, T2 and T. Obviously, we are going to find multiplicative inverse under mod n. So, obviously, we will be having two numbers. The biggest number is placed in A and the smallest number is placed in B. So, that is the first point. Then we are going to perform A mod B operation. The result of this A mod B operation will give two results. One is the quotient and the other one is the remainder. We are going to place the quotient here and the remainder here. In the first step of the calculation, we are going to use T1 and T2 as 0 and 1 respectively. So, T1, T2 values will be filled and we are going to compute T using this formula. T is equal to T1 minus T2 into Q and we are going to run this algorithm till we encounter a situation where the division of A mod B cannot be performed. In that stage, whatever we have in T1, that's the multiplicative inverse. With this knowledge, let's see example number 3. The question is, find the multiplicative inverse of 11 mod 26. So, there are two numbers given here. One is 11 and the other one is 26 and we want to find the multiplicative inverse of 11. So, 11 is multiplied by its inverse when that result is divided by 26, we should get the remainder as 1. What's that number? That's what we are going to find. We know we are going to use the extended Euclidean algorithm which has these 7 parameters. Now, the given inputs are 11 and 26. Which is the biggest number? 26. So, 26 is placed in A and 11 is placed in B. And what's the next step? We are going to perform A mod B. So, we are going to perform 26 mod 11. When we perform the division, we get the quotient as 2 and remainder as 4 and we are going to place this in the appropriate places against quotient and remainder. We know in the first round, we are going to use T1 is equal to 0 and T2 is equal to 1. So, we will fill that values and we are going to compute T value as T1 minus T2 into Q. When we compute this, we get the value of T as minus 2 and this minus 2 is actually placed here. Right? Just see here, this minus 2 is actually placed here. Now, we are done with step number 1. Let's proceed with step number 2. So, we are going to do the shifting operation. So, the value of B is stored in A and the value of the remainder is stored in B. Similarly, the value of T2 is stored in T1 and the value of T is stored in T2. So, when we do this operation, we can see the table is getting filled like this. Now, repeat the same A mod B operation. Now, A is 11, B is 4. So, when we do this A mod B operation, we get the quotient as 2 and the remainder as 3 and we also compute the value of T is equal to T1 minus T2 into Q. Now, we have T1, T2 with their own values, which is 1 and minus 2 respectively. Using this value, we are going to compute the value of T which is equal to 5 in this case. So, I am just filling 5 against T. Are we going to stop this algorithm? No. Let's proceed with the algorithm. Moving value of B to A and the remainder to B. Similarly, T2 to T1 and the value of T to T2. So, obviously, we will be getting the table like this. Now, we are going to perform the same A mod B operation. When we do that, we get the quotient as 1 and the remainder as 1. And when we compute the value of T, we get the value of T as minus 7. We are filling this value against T. So, let's run the algorithm again. So, we get the value of A, B, T1 and T2 like this. So, we are getting the value like this and we are going to perform A mod B. We get the quotient as 3 and the remainder as 0 and the value of T is computed as 26. Let's run the algorithm again. When we do the operation further, we get the value of A as 1 and the value of B as 0 and T1 is equal to minus 7 and T2 is equal to 26. Let's do A mod B operation. Obviously, we are encountering a situation divide by 0. It cannot be proceeded further. So, we are stopping this algorithm up to this. So, when we encounter a situation divide by 0, so whatever is there in T1, that's the multiplicative inverse. 
So the multiplicative inverse of 11 mod 26 is minus 7. But just recollect this, I told you always have the final result in positive. So how can we make it positive? So it means minus 7 is the multiplicative inverse of 11 mod 26 which is perfectly fine. But we want a positive number. This minus 7 in other words it is minus 7 mod 26. When we have minus 7 mod 26, just add minus 7 and 26, we get a positive number. So minus 7 plus 26 is equal to 19. So it's clear that 19 is the multiplicative inverse of 11 mod 26. Please be advised that the multiplicative inverse exists only when these two numbers are relatively prime. In other words, the GCD of these two numbers is 1. In this example, we have taken 11 mod 26. It means GCD of 11, 26 or GCD of 26, 11 is equal to 1. That means 1 is the only number that can divide both 11 and 26. So that's what I mentioned as 11 and 26 must be relatively prime. Only then there exists a multiplicative inverse. So when you work with this algorithm, please be ensured that the GCD of these two numbers what is given in the question is 1. In other words, they should be relatively prime to each other. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood multiplicative inverse and we also know how to find the multiplicative inverse of a given number which is having mod n using extended Euclidean algorithm. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.